Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and a brand new video. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this retro 620 video games console from GearBest.com. Huddled on the original Nintendo game system, I'm going to be testing out the main features, the games and seeing if this Nintendo clone is indeed any good. So stay tuned. Welcome back to returning subscribers and if you're new, you know what to do, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that bell button to stay locked and updated on new uploads too. Now before we get into the unboxing, I'll just tell you that I bought this from GearBest.com for £15.56, that's £21.54 in US dollars. They do have some awesome tech on the website and I'll be sure to leave some personal suggested GearBest gadget links in the description down below that may interest you. But without further ado, let's go ahead and see what we have. Let's get to the fast forward mode. Ooh, nice. Well, what do we have? On the outside of the box, you can see here it says Mini Game Anniversary Edition Entertainment System with built in 620 classic games. It is universal and does support NTSL and PAL. It tells you a few of the game collections, such as Super Mario, TMNT. It says it supports plug and play and with various other descriptions around the box to the rear you do have a list of all the games. Inside the box we have two retro game controllers, underneath one power supply with a cable length of 145cm and a micro USB power port end. Also underneath you'll find one AV cable with a length of 140cm, one English instruction manual and lastly the console itself. Looking closely at this retro games console, to the rear we have one micro USB insert, one AV out, to the front we have one power on off switch, one reset button, two game control insert ports, and to the bottom you'll find the air rent and four sturdy rubber protectors. And just to confirm you guys, obviously this isn't the size of the original Nintendo game system, but here's the size just here now, which is 14 centimeters by 11 centimeters and the height is around about five centimeters So now all the specifications are out of the way I'm going to be plugging in this retro games console into the Sony Bravi TV here using the AV lead I'm gonna start by plugging in one end into the console and the other twin end into the TV itself Now whether your TV is old or new your TV may not come with the AV lead input you simply purchase this single SCART lead AV adapter, attach the AV lead, and there you go. And also, just be careful when you're purchasing this retro games machine because you need to actually have the corresponding plug. So when you order your games console of gearbest.com, make sure you don't make the same mistake I did right here by ordering a foreign plug. But again, that mistake can be simply solved by using one of these power travel adapters. As you can see just here, this one is a UK version. Insert the micro USB end into the games console. Let's go ahead and plug it into the travel adapter, plug the power unit into the wall, insert both of these awesome game controllers, and just simply sit back, relax and enjoy some retro gaming experience. Now I may add that you can use a mobile phone charger on this console just here, so if you don't have a plug adapter and you bought the wrong type of plug, just simply input a micro USB phone charger and this should power the unit itself. Now this really does take me back. What's great about this retro console is that this console doesn't come with that really old cartridge case. If you remember the old system from the 80s, you used to put the cartridge in and it used to pop back out. And it used to be an absolute pain blowing on the cartridge, getting the dust out, just to get one single game on. Well, as stated, this one's got 620 games built in. And with no waiting around, you can easily just turn it off, turn it on, and instantly the menu just appears. And well, let's go ahead, grab a controller and see what games we have. Listed on the first page, you can see there's some favourite games from the 80s, such as Super Mario, Mario 3, Mario 6 and Dr. Mario. So let's just go through some of the games real quick and see what else we can find. We've got Turtles 1, Turtles 4, Double Dragon, Mega Man 3, oh my gosh, that takes me back. Chippendale, Angry Bird. Okay, didn't know it existed back then. I must have missed that. Aladdin 3. Ghostbusters. Is it the female version? In the house, we have Mickey Mouse. Oh my days, Paperboy. But looking down on this, you got Transformers. 
and basically yeah some of their most favorite games from oh my gosh the goonies come on classic track and field get prepared for my fingers to be worn out oh my god do you ever do that thing as a kid where you get the two buttons go brrrr, cheat you're like rub your fingers over the two buttons it's like dead fast you don't need to do all that blah, 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 blah. but anyway this is really taking me back speaking about going back let's just go back to the first page and one way you're doing this is by simply pressing the reset button on the game's console and it will take you straight back to the first menu. So let's try out Super Mario. One for you, please. Yeah, boy. Woohoo! Yay! So let's go ahead and try Mega Man. Yeah. See if I remember how to do this now. No, obviously not. Mm -hmm. Ah, wait, 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 wait. Disco, disco, disco. Disco, disco. Disco, disco. Ah! No, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah! How dare you? Double dragon. 1988. Three, two, one, go. The hell? Yo, take me girl back, man. I don't even want her. What are you doing? What are you doing? Give me my girl back, man. What are you doing? Boo, 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 boo. Come on, the grid. Get your green, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hadouken! Walking down the street with my cute ginger hair. Oh, yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, come on. Come get me. Yeah. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah. See you later. <laughs> gonna do when I'm up here, you're doing nothing, mate. I'm dancing. Oh, oh, loving this beat, yeah. Get, 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 She knocked me out with the food. Wow, she whipped me up, man. It's Valentine's Day, man. What are you doing? I didn't do nothing wrong. Yeah. Ah! So let's try these chipping deals. Rescue Rangers. Right, okay. Anyone understand that? It's a pretty swift game, this really. So let's see what the Angry Bird was like. Yo, check the Angry Birds out. So let's try Aladdin... Aladdin 3. Oh yeah, what, what, what are you doing? Ah, ah, yeah. Wee. Oh, what are you doing? Quality 32, 19, ah, I see what I'm saying. Just tries Ghostbusters, who are you gonna call? Oh, right, fair enough. What the earth is this? Do you have to do? Anybody know? What to do in this game? You're not even getting me. No, no, no. This is rubbish, this. Who are you gonna call? Call game designer. Come on, Mini, follow me everywhere. Mini Mouse getting in the way as usual. Whoa, he's rapid, yo. Mini, move. Oh, I was there. Cheap. Oh, time for Paperboy. Yes. Remember guys, this is before the PlayStation era or Xbox era, so no taking the mic, this is just classic gaming. Yeah, riding my bike, going to get anywhere I want. Woo! Nah, that was good aiming, come on. Ha, I hit the dog, see that? Ha <laughs> oh. ha! Try hit me. <laughs> Kid gets compensation, we get smacked by a car. We've got to try Trek and Field, definitely. Daily touch from this. Oh no, he had his own air game, didn't he? Yo, check him out. Oh, you beeled! I can't believe it. 
Got your lead, join it, join it. <laughs> Check him out, you little man. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> He's crying. Check him out. That's pretty good. Mama, you've been bad. The truffle shuffle. Now I've played some of these games, I'm going to give you my verdict on this game console and go into a bit more detail of what I like and what I don't like about this retro games console in general. So now it's time for some of the pros and some cons of this 8-bit console. This console is awesome, it's loaded with some of the best retro games ever and brings back memories from the 80s and 90s. I personally had hours of footage that I could have used because I had so much fun. And I think friends, family, visitors would love this. And in fact, it would be a great idea if you're renting at a holiday home for those rainy days in. Well, that's if you're in the UK, that is. <laughs> the game's console and controllers are simple to use, great quality plastic workmanship. The cables have fantastic length. And with the unit being as light as it is, it's very easy to carry as it's the size of one's hand. And now moving on to some of the cons. Even though this console is packed out with games, some of the games I'm afraid have been repeated a few times with different named titles. I do wish this console was equipped and compatible with HDMI, as I think the AV lead does pay the cost and does interfere with some of the colours in PAL. The image wasn't what I expected for an 8-bit. I feel stretched on some of the games and somewhat pixelated. The power lead too was American, which does need an EU or UK adapter. Listen, overall, I'm really happy with this console. For the price I paid, I wasn't disappointed, and neither will you be too. That takes me on to GearBest.com. I mentioned earlier on that I paid £15.56, but if you're a customer to GearBest, and you make a purchase, you'll be rewarded with points. It's easy to set up an account, and just for an example, I made a few purchases and I managed to take the price down from £15.56 down to £12.13. That's 1704 in US dollars for this console. With the pros and cons of this gaming console now listed and my truthful opinion given, now it's time for my verdict. So, drum rolls please. Right folks, what am I going to give this retro gaming console out of 10? I'm going to give this console... 7 out of 10. <laughs> Even though I've listed some of the problems, I think this console is a whole lot of fun and I can't wait to remind my own children what playing without a save option was like. And I must say next time I think I'm going to buy this SNES or in fact this Sega Mega Drive clone. Which you too can buy, link to the description down below and stay tuned for that review. Well thank you guys for watching once again, I'll leave all the useful and buy it now links in the description down below. Please don't forget to share. Please smash that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell button. Stay alert for more from Go Get Yours. Thanks for watching. Peace.